Cliff Burton to me was such a unique player and a, and really a, a huge influence. Maybe a little bit later in my career, I started to realize there's something really deep about this guy, and he's special. And um, and I love to draw on players that are that special. I still miss Cliff, no doubt, and. I'd love to see him again at some point. <laughs> so seeing photos that I haven't seen before, especially where we're together, that is that is awesome. To to you know to get another piece of him back into my heart is great. Very emotional memories seeing Cliff. You know, seeing Cl pictures of of Cliff and I in our in the hotel rooms. You know, Cliff and I hanging out. Uh, you know, pictures of us in the, in the dressing rooms when our dressing room was like a deli tray, you know, a stack of towels, and then disproportionately uh, just a ton of booze, <laughs> you know. <laughs> when I was actually um, getting ready to audition for Metallica, I was staying at Mike Borden's house, and I was staying in his guest room, and I looked up, and he had this, this uh, really cool photo of Cliff, and you know, kind of half asleep in that weird semi-sleep state, working on probably something off Master of Puppets, and I look up, and it's Cliff, and he's staring at me, he's like looking at me, <laughs> and I, it was over the strangest thing, and I, and I said, Cliff, if I get this gig, I won't let you down, I promise, because I almost felt like he was checking me out. Hopefully he was giving me a thumbs up, but, I, but I, I'll never forget that moment, because it was a... It was very surreal, but it was important. I respect Cliff's memory, and I respect everything he stood up for, him. and it's what I try to stand up for. Him. And, and, you know, Ray Burton, he's a very, very stand-up guy. Ray Burton is an angel. He is, he, I admire him, and uh, he's a really good friend of mine. He's a great human being, and obviously the fact that he's Cliff Burton's dad uh, is another reason we love having him around, but that's not the primary reason. When I grow up, I want to be Ray Burton. <laughs> he is so inspiring. His energy, his, his love of life, it's very attractive to me because I, I kind of, I'm the other side of the battery most of the time. But he brings a smile to my face. I, I just look at him and I start smiling. Ray has weathered all of these experiences with a smile on his face. And whenever he walks into a room at a Metallica backstage or here at HQ or in any other place that we're fortunate enough to see him, he always has this incredible positive energy. Ray has, has this, this thing about him, you know. And Cliff had it too. He got it from Ray. It's, and it's all about fairness all about equality. Cliff had that. And um, I get emotional because, you know, I miss Cliff. And that's what I miss the most about Cliff, is just that. And Ray Burton is that. I'm, I'm blown away. I'm blown away. He's, uh, you know, he's a father figure. There's no doubt about that. You know, Cliff was pretty fortunate to have him as a dad. Ray Burton is just one cool guy. He's a really a true warrior and a positive spirit, and I admire him dearly.